Well, friends, uh, today we conquer one of the most important theorems in all of neutral geometry, a theorem named for Sicari and Legendre, who were famous for bringing it forward. Um, it's a theorem we use over and over and over again. It is so big that there are three little lemmas that we prove on the way to proving our theorem. And here's the first one. Given triangle ABC, the measure of angle CAB plus the measure of angle ABC is less than 180. That is to say, any two angle measures in a triangle have to be, add up to less than 180. And the way we do this is we find a point D on ray AB such that B is between A and D. And we recognize that by the linear pair theorem, the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle CBD is 180. That's linear pair. But angle CBD is an exterior angle to triangle ABC. So the measure of angle CBD must be bigger than the measure of angle CAB. So if we replace measure of angle CBD with measure of angle CAB, this is less than that, so this sum is less than that. Got it. Nothing too fancy there. Lemma 2. Lemma 2 says, given triangle ABC with point E on segment BC, then now here's a notation that's new. Uh, this is a lowercase sigma. Uh, so you're familiar from your previous work with capital sigma. This is not that. This is lowercase sigma. And take it from somebody who's studied classical Greek for a couple of years, you don't want to make it as a zero that kind of changed its mind. You really want to make it as if it were going around like so. It's just easier to do. Um, if you are LaTeXing, this is backslash sigma. If you are using Microsoft Word's equation editor, lowercase sigma exists. And lowercase sigma means the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABE, sum of the measures of angles of triangle ECA is equal to the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC plus 180. Well, let's talk about what we mean. When we talk about the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABE, that's this angle measure plus this angle measure plus this angle measure. And then when we talk about the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ECA, that's this angle measure plus this angle measure plus this angle measure. So then what is that? Well, these four together are the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC, and these two together are 180. And so lemma 2 falls right out from there. And then lemma 3 says, given triangle ABC, there exists a point D such that D is not on line AB, and the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABD is the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC. And one interior angle of this new triangle we will make is less than or equal to half of the measure of angle CAB. So we create a triangle that has the same angle sum, but has a special property. And this is also pretty straightforward to do. Uh, construct the midpoint of CB, and then draw that ray and find this point along ray AE so that those two segments are congruent. Ruler postulate lets us do that. The claim is that this D is the D the theorem refers to, the lemma refers to. And, and that's pretty straightforward. Uh, you got vertical angles here. So triangle AEC is congruent to triangle DEB. Uh, that's pretty certain. 
So when we talk about the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABD, that's the sum of these four little angles here. But this angle is congruent to that one, and this angle is congruent to that one by correspondence. So it does check out that the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABD is the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC. So now let's deal with this matter. Why does one of these have to be less than or equal to half of angle CAB? Well, here's angle CAB, and it gets broken up by some ray. If these angles are the same, meaning if AE is a bisector, then both the alpha and the delta are half of measure of angle CAB, no problem. But if they're not equal, then one is bigger than the other, and the other is less than half of the measure of angle CAB. But they can't both be greater than half of the measure of angle CAB because they add up to the measure of angle CAB. So lemma three is established. And that brings us to the sicarii legendre theorem, which says that if triangle ABC is any triangle at all, then it's the sum of its angle measures must be not greater than 180. Um, I had a student five springs ago who could not pronounce Sicari Legendre, and so she pronounced this the She Carries Lasagna Theorem, and that was close enough for me. Uh, and now she's YouTube famous, so yay and hooray. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, as in all great proofs where we want something to be less than or equal to a whatever, we suppose that the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC is greater than 180 which implies that the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC is 180 plus epsilon, where epsilon is a positive real number. We like to think of epsilon as a teeny tiny positive number. Now here's where we bring in our analysis. We can choose n such that 2 to the n times epsilon is greater than the measure of angle CAB. Now, this follows by the Archimedean property of the real numbers. And what it basically says is epsilon is a teeny tiny positive number. But you can take that teeny tiny positive number and you can double it and double it and double it and double it. And eventually, you can make that number as big as you like. We would like to make it bigger than the measure of angle CAB, whatever that is. Now, oh, too far. By lemma three, there exists a triangle A1B1C1 with the sum of the measures of the angles of A1B1C1 is the same as the sum of the angles of triangle ABC and one angle with measure less than or equal to half of the measure of angle CAB. And there's a triangle A2B2C2 with one angle whose measure is a quarter of measure of angle CAB, and so on, there exists a triangle A sub n, B sub n, C sub n, with the sum of the measures of its angles equal to the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC, and one angle with measure less than or equal to 1 over 2 to the n measure of angle CAB. We did it n times. Well, why do I care? Because this is less than epsilon. This number is less than epsilon because we said it was. Well, who cares? 
the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle A sub N, B sub N, C sub N, which is the sum of the measures of the angles of triangle ABC is 180 plus epsilon. But that's equal to the sum of two of its angle measures plus one angle that's less than epsilon. Which means that these two add up to greater than 180. That's two. And that contradicts lemma one. And so where did we go wrong? We went wrong way back here when we assumed that the sum of the measures of the angles was 180 plus epsilon, and therefore that has to be true, and the theorem is established. Okay? It's a biggie. You have to know it. Hope all is well with you and yours.